Hello subscribers and those new to Jeff Ball Photography. In this video, I wanted to share with you two resources that I employ when I am tent camping or car camping at my dark sky observing locations. This is an example of my car camping on Spruce Knob. If you've seen some of my videos, you know this is at the Experience Learning Center. And I tend to just leave my camping in the car, camping gear, and I put my equipment cases on the outside and cover those with a tarp. If you watched my most recent video from the Calhoun Dark Sky Observing, you would see this is my setup. To be more efficient in the field and maximizing my imaging time, I went to utilizing two imaging setups in the field. So that meant I really didn't want to spend the time and energy with establishing a camp with a tent. So I moved everything in the car with my sleeping situation. I just put all of my imaging cases under a tarp in the imaging area outside. So really to make this work, I wanted to find something that was a little bit more comfortable in the car for a sleeping pad. And I ended up with this Wilax Ultra Thick Foam inflatable sleeping pad. I found this on Amazon. I am going to include a link. It will be an affiliate link that goes to Amazon. But this thing has been really enjoyable. I had it out for this one weekend. It will self-inflate, so it has these self-inflating valves, and it has padding in it as well. And you can see here it's $97.97 is the price. Please note the dimensions of 77 by 28 by 3 inches, so it'll fit in your sleeping situation. In my case, it does fit in the Honda CRV. I do prop up the head area with a cooler. And so that gives me the full support under the mat and it fits in the car and I can close all of the doors. Now the unit can roll up into a cover bag. I leave it unrolled and I transport it unrolled. It is recommended to be unrolled. So one of the things that's gonna be interesting to see is how long this thing can survive without being punctured and what the wearability usability time life is for this item that i'll have to report on later but so far my first experiences are very positive the next item i was really looking for was something to help me relax during an imaging session and something that would also support my binocular observing in a lounging situation. So I went out in search of, this didn't take but two seconds on Google to find this Wood, Woods Ashcroft three position reclining camping lounging chair for $105. Now watch this video and you can see how simple this setup is. It expands out just like a normal outdoor chair that you would take to a sporting event. And it retracts in the same situation and you can store it in this bag i actually keep it stored in this bag it was very simple to store that and wow was this chair extremely helpful in relaxing during an image session as well as providing great support for binocular observing so i hope these two items are of interest to you and they can help support your dark sky observing links are at the video description have a great evening weekend I hope to see you under a dark sky soon, and until next time, clear skies. Oh, and before we leave, what tips or tricks or items do you have to help make car camping, tent camping at a dark sky location more comfortable and more productive? Please share those in the comments section. I look forward to seeing those. Thanks. Take care.